202.9 a liter, and there's four liters to a gallon, so you do your math on how much gas is here. Over eight dollars. to the tiny house edition on the ninth element channel this is one of the tiny houses that i'm going to be living in for a little while to see if i could do this or want this for myself so welcome to this series Well, hello from the tiny micro cabin uh, deck. <laughs> I think this deck that I'm sitting on is the exact same footprint as the living room or living space that I'm living in. This tiny cabin provides 91 square feet of living, which is really tiny, but the way that uh, time, this, this tiny house property has laid it out, it feels very large. I'm currently on the Sunshine Coast of British Columbia and this is my first time here. I can't believe I'm from Canada, lived here for 30 years, then moved to the United States to go to school. Um, I've never been to this part of British Columbia and it is so beautiful and amazing. And this particular property is really special too. So I am sitting on the back deck of my tiny house, my Airbnb tiny house. And I'm having such a lovely time here. It's really hard for me to get into filming because I'm also trying to unplug. And um, also recovering from all of the forest fires on the mainland. Like, as you can still hear in my voice, <clears throat> I, it was rough. I struggled and I finally got out, but I am now here and I'm safe. And just let me, let me just, that's my kitchen window. Let's go make something to eat. Yeah. Let's go make some dinner. And I don't even think I've filmed the front of the cabin, but here's the front of the cabin. Okay, fire pit. Oh yeah.
this tripod to film cooking dinner. Okay, be right back. For dinner tonight, I have grated some zucchini noodles, chopped up some mushroom, some shallot and garlic. Yesterday, I made a beet, a beet kind of slaw. We have butter and oil in the pan. And I'm making zucchini spaghetti. And here is the sauce that I'm using. I love having this big window to look outside. <laughs> that's where I was sitting earlier. Outside at that table, that's where I was sitting earlier. Isn't that nice? Yeah, let's just put you back down. So I'm gonna make some zucchini spaghetti tonight in the tiny cabin. <laughs> You're watching me from the uh, <laughs> from the window outside of the tiny house. The window that faces the balcony. This smells so good. I love this dish. Let's give it a little bit of salt. found this at a grocery store yesterday. It's everything you need to make a couple of servings of spaghetti. Mm. Oh, ho, 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 yeah. And then cover it, shut it off, and it'll be ready real soon. I think I have some Parmesan cheese, famous garlic butter, and toast from the bakery to make garlic toast. So just so you know how tiny this kitchen is, I've got this working area here. I've got the noodles made there, making toast right there. Um, this is my studio looking north into the woods. This is looking out of my bed, my bed, my kitchen, my kitchen, my bed. <laughs> Making some Berkey water right now. Have all my groceries fitting nicely onto these shelves. Bread from the bakery into the toaster. <laughs> Homemade old family recipe for a garlic butter to go onto the toast. The rainwater catchment tank is just outside of the, um, I guess you'd say, office area of the tiny house. And um, I'm going to fill up the water for the dishes. The rain comes off the roof here, into the gutter here, and down through this pipe into the water tank here. Ugh. And living off grid also provides you with the opportunity to do CrossFit. Okay, this is six gallons of water that I'm taking inside for my dishes. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So get the holes in here for the kitchen sink. Pretty cool that I'm using rainwater to do my dishes with. And up and in to the barrel. <sighs> and it's back in its place. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Good thing I got that rhino raptor on the doors. <laughs> Nothing scratching them. Okay, we need we need this stuff. Yeah, we need this. <sighs> Sorry, Laurel. Whoops. Whoa. Gotta make sure it's shut. Okay. <laughs> Have a double line. Perfecto. All set for when we do blue bucket laundry. Oh, I gotta get blue bucket. the rainwater catchment and they've recently had a lot of rain so this pail is three gallons I usually only fill it with one and a half to two so um, yeah I'll just fill it up uh, with probably a gallon of water to do my laundry the host here, Karen, has left me with this kind of laundry detergent, so I'm guessing that's what's good for the water here. Okay, we'll just get some water in here and laundry detergent. I'm not used to conventional laundry detergent, so I'm just going to use, like, not even a tablespoon. Ooh, it's really stinky. Oh, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> Turn the water on from the spigot here and fill the bucket up. Look how clear that water is. That's from BC Skies. <laughs> oh. Now, since my water source is outside here, I've decided to, I'm just going to bring my laundry from inside and put it in the water and wash it out here and then I'll hang it up right there. Oh, underpants. Okay, they're in the bucket. <laughs> now, that's my brand new red Canadian t-shirt. I don't think I'm going to wash it with these things because it'll make the water pink. So, we have one and a half gallons <clears throat> for this many clothes. And uh, probably what I'm wearing as well will go in here. To be continued. <laughs> There's blue bucket laundry just outside the kitchen window. It's probably a stupid idea to be doing dishes next to a toaster that's plugged in. Oh, okay. Wish me luck. Well, actually, we won't run the water. We'll just run. We'll just run the dishwasher. Okay. <laughs> Even in a tiny house, I still do this method of dishes. So that, if you're wondering, and if you're new to my channel, that is vinegar water, and so just vinegar and water, literally. I give my dishes. I give my dishes a rinse down with this. And uh, that's it. That's my dishwashing method. Been doing it for, well, for a lot of years, but this time around for like 18 months. And uh, my dishes, they get perfectly clean. They're sanitized and sterilized. And it's a great way to save water as well. So, yeah. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. garlic toast is almost ready. Mmm. Okay, just one more rinse, rinsey rinse. It's a little harder with the with the fattier foods, but okay. Yeah, look at that. Oh, just like it came out of the dishwasher. Look at that. Oh, I think I might put it down for a little bit longer. This is just butter, uh, minced garlic, fresh chive, and uh, 
Parmesan, fresh Parmesan cheese. It works really well with the uh, with the dried Parmesan cheese, you know, the kind that comes in the tins by Kraft and stuff like that. But to make it extra special, I added fresh Parmesan to it. Mm -hmm. Enough for one more garlic toast tomorrow. Zucchini spaghetti. Yeah. Not so much gluten and we get a lot of veggies. It's a super, super simple meal to make. Let's go look around this property. So I've been at the tiny micro cabin for a few days now. Haven't recorded very much because, oh my God, kids, I am so tired and so burnt out from this summer and all of the wildfires and the excitement. I think just in general this past year. So, you know, I've done a little bit of blue bucket laundry. I've done a bit of cooking here. But now it's time for us to go around and explore this amazing property. So let's go. They've provided us, provided me with this map. So we're going to go around looking at this map. Oh, and there's ninth. What a beautiful day here. This is the outdoor bathroom. They have a composting toilet and they are doing hue manure here. Oops, I think I left this up from when I went to the bathroom. No, I'm not going to open what's up in there. But uh, yeah, very sweet, very clean. And then next door to this one is the outdoor shower. And I did take a shower in here yesterday. It was a very lovely and the water was the perfect temperature. So this normally is their pond and a little entrance to get into it. You can swim in it when it's full, but it's been a very dry summer, which is kind of unusual for the Pacific Northwest. But up here, we have some more camping spots.
these are the complete camping areas like oh gosh look at this outdoor kitchen with everything you need a nice uh, tarp so if you want to pitch a tent under here or oh I think I know what this is <gasps> Oh my God, it's a sleeping hammock tent. That's crazy. Have you ever stayed in one of those? Leave a comment below and let me know. That's nuts. <laughs> and then up over here, there's more camps. Here's another camp. Oh my God, she's got a drying rack. Oh, Karen and Keto, you're, you guys, your attention to detail oh look at this outdoor kitchen oh my goodness screen tent yes because the bugs can get bad here here's another camp oh my goodness and they have lights i don't know if you can see them right here for nighttime on the string so right that right there they're all run by solar and uh yeah If you don't have camping gear, they do. So if you're curious about this property, it is on Airbnb and it's also on Hip Camp. It is Tiny Secrets Farm and Retreat. Um, <laughs> it's, it's so incredible. I don't know what's up this road. Here, I've got my map. I should just stop and check it out. This is a little sweetie pie. This, I believe, is the bell tent. And Karen and Keto won best hip camp for this one. Oh, let's go check it out. Hello, is anybody in here? So when you rent these tents and camps from Karen and Keto, you have to bring your own sheets. Um, which is sort of like a hostel theme, but like st hostel staying in the hostels, not hostile. <laughs> but yeah, this, this is the bell tent. Super sweet. Very romantic. There is um, outdoor kitchen seating for dining, as well as a screened kitchen tent to be in out of the bug elements. And protected. This one is, um, I believe, the wall tent. Let's just check it out. Whoa, this is glamping on another level. Oh my god, this is a tentaminium. Holy smokes. Let's get inside. The doors open. Oh, wow, guys. This is beautiful. Oh my God. It's even set up for winter. There's no fires allowed right now, but there's a little stove here for cooking on. They even have like flooring. So this is a four, this is set up to be a four season tent. Oh my goodness. This is exquisite. Oh, and you can open the side windows for ventilation and there's a big door. A place to eat inside. Oh my gosh. Outdoor living. We have a fire pit and some Adirondack chairs to enjoy this beautiful view. And so for the folks that are staying far away from the main bathrooms, they have a outhouse tent and sink for washing up. Isn't that cute? You also get your own private yard. Oh my. Okay, now I'm on the lower part of the property. This, if you guys follow RelaxShack.com on YouTube, um, there's a gentleman there that teaches classes on how to make these sheds. So this is another one of Karen's creations. She's such an artist. Sorry about the noise. There's, you know, construction going on down here. But uh, this is what her take is, oh my goodness, look at it. So this whole wall right here opens out like this. 
so that you can have it as uh, a covering for the deck in inclement weather or sunshine, as well as it helps to make this space seem really, really big. I mean, the efficiency of the space. Look at this. She's got all these shelves on the wall here for things. This is the single bed. I say single because it's a bit smaller than a twin. And uh, all of this shelving down here and the cooler. I mean this. <laughs> oh wow. It's so cool. And then I'm not sure what she's doing there. And there's the struts for the door to hold it open. I'm really grateful that we got to come and see it while it's still Look at that door. Oh, look at that door. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. And then all the little touches. Yeah. You must be alert for bears. God, if you guys know me, this, <laughs> this is my dream kitchen. Are you kidding me? Wood-fired pizza oven. Storage for wood here. Lots of counter space. Oh my gosh. And look at this view to cook from. Oh my goodness. Variegated see-through roof. Yeah. Magical energy rock. This way, oh, I'm in. Oh, let's go see this. I love magic and I have good energy. <laughs> oh, let's go see where. Oh. oh, oh, it's on the other side of the bus. Yeah. Well, now it's time for some lunch. So I had grated some beet a few days ago. I'm going to grate some carrot, chop some onion, put in some radishes, cucumber. I just washed my lettuce in this pot with my Berkey water. So I'm going to make a salad for lunch and then sit outside in the shade. It's a beautiful day here on the Sunshine Coast. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? The temperature is beautiful here today. It is an early fall day. Mm. Mm.
need some mayonnaise from my condiment bag to make a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich for breakfast. So I am so impressed at how efficient this 91 square foot cabin is. Like, as you see at the beginning of this video, I had a hoodie on because I was feeling a bit chilly. It's raining outside, and so I was getting this cozy vibe going. I lit some candles um, just to make it a little bit more cozier, and it's too warm. And then as soon as you start cooking, whoo, mama's sweating. But um, I'm making some coffee. I'm going to make a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. And I'm just diving into working online today and staying like super cozy right here in the tiny cabin, deep in the woods, remote in British Columbia. <laughs> filled with such uh, peace and uh, rest and I'm very optimistic about my day that I'm about to have and the work that I'm going to do and the relaxation. I'm just going to set myself up in my little bed office and well no I think I'll eat at my little table then I'll hit my bed office. Cheers and good morning. I just love this little breakfast nook. Um, it's a great little working desk or a great place to eat breakfast. And just look out at the beautiful woods. Mm. British Columbia has really needed this rain. And many parts of the North America have needed rain this summer. Um, it has been insanely dry. On this property they normally have a pond and the pond is a puddle right now um, as you can see this is a rainwater catchment tank that is where I get all my water for inside the cabin here to do my dishes and to do my hand laundry um, I've noticed that I've been here for five days and I've gone through eight gallons of water. I still have four more days here. And I could, I could definitely live in a tiny cabin like this. From where I'm sitting, here's my little bed. But there is a loft. And it does go high to one side so that I could actually put a desk up there and a chair. Now, I'm not comfortable climbing up and down a ladder and uh, to, at nighttime. I just, I, 
I, I'm a little old lady with a, teen, with a teeny tiny bladder and I like to get up and go to the bath. Yeah, I don't want to have to go up and down a ladder, but oh my gosh, this space has really healed me after a very crazy summer of outrunning fires and smoke. <coughs> Pardon me. My asthma is still healing. This rain is going to help it. I'm very close to the ocean. Like as the crow flies, like I'm less than a mile from the ocean right now, but I'm deep in the woods. So all this chlorophyll and rain and negative ions from the salt water air are healing me and I'm feeling much better. I'm just going to finish my breakfast now and then I'm going to get to work. Mm, that's a darn good sandwich breakfast. I'm currently editing a video uh, about the wildfires in Asoyas this summer and it's heart-wrenching going through this footage and just seeing the carnage that happened from that fire. And if you were someone that lost your home or were affected by that fire, I am so sorry. And my thoughts and prayers go out to you and your family and that whole community and all the communities across British Columbia and Washington and Alberta and California. I mean, it's like fire is the sixth season because wind is the fifth. Fire is the sixth. Oh, wait, there's one more. Smoke. Smoke is the seventh season. So, oh my gosh. Uh, I'm just grateful that I was able to turn my summer vacation around and always look for the positive in what I'm doing and where I'm traveling and knowing when to stop. Like I, after I was up in the Okanagan for about four or five weeks, I, I just had to stop and come back west and come south again. So I'm, uh, I'm going to finish this video up for you here, and I thank you always for watching my adventures, watching the channel, seeing what's happening. There's a lot of things developing right now. It's like, I feel like I'm being, I just feel like I'm traveling so fast towards my dreams, and I'm really, I'm just, I'm really digging my heels in and trying to slow down and just just enjoy all the moments and all of the beauty around me and in front of me. So again, if you're new to my channel, my name is Mindy. I'm currently in a tiny cabin deep in the woods on the coast of British Columbia. Ninth is outside. Don't worry, she's nearby. I'll be back in her real soon traveling. But, uh, if you haven't already, please hit the like button. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and share this with your friends. They might find this content really interesting. I love to share it with you. As always, everyone, mm, so much love from the road. Well, in this case, from a tiny cabin. Bye. I want slow love. Uncomplicated such Stable as we go Consistent as we grow I want slow love No need to rush I'll say it in my dreams Strangers in my sea Possibly have changed I need